So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fat Mod, and welcome back to Tell Me Why. We are continuing off with episode number 2 of chapter 2, which I believe is called Family Secrets. And speaking of Family Secrets, I do believe this is the memory we left off at. I know that Tyler's probably going to go and sit on there. Maybe it was the one after this, but I guess we'll watch this one, or yeah, watch this one again. So this is Allison's view of the whole situation. I was following procedure, what I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Originally, I thought that this was the guy that was like kind of like the dad, but this is the police officer, right? Mary Ann. So it's Eddie is the police officer. And then I can't remember the other guy. Sam, I think, is the other guy. The the Brody of Tell Me Why, I believe that's Sam. So yeah, now this should be where we left so off. Different. I just didn't want to miss a memory. I'd rather have the same memory we did the last episode rather than miss one. Wait, when did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the we going, exact mate? same day she attacked you. He got stuck on the freaking garage door as well, which is kind of strange. hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Is there anything yeah, over here? That was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I don't freaking know. He must have had reasons. Yeah, this is the one that I said last time. He must have had his reasons for not telling us. I'm just gonna go and check over here quickly. In case there's a collectible over here. Incapable of lying. Never mind. See him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can. But who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? I guess it is. Right, what's this one gonna be? Uh, choose Tyler. Here we go. So this is the one that I was gonna do. Goddamn hip. Um. Get out of here. So I, I said in the last episode that Allison kind of makes it seem like it was a lot nicer, and Tyler seems like he was always yeah. Marianne was sad, or Marianne was angry. And as we know, we're not hundred percent sure. I know they said in the last episode, but I think this was the night that Marianne tried to kill Tyler. And on that note. I don't think she was sad. I think she was angry, so I'm going to go with that one. And as I said in the last episode, anyway, Tyler always seems like he remembers it, how it happened, and Allison tries to, like, brighten up the mood by thinking it actually happened nicer. Yeah, she went to there and then was angry and then took it out on Tyler, I guess. So maybe it wasn't Tyler's fault for, like, cutting his hair and uh, changing genders. Maybe so, it was more just other people agree. making her, like, build Brown up her anger. Here and bullied Mary in the same there we go. Hell yes. Us. Strengthened our bond. And then lied about it. Because we've had one before where it split. We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll I guess so. Car keys. Probably should have ended but the episode would here then. Of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Alright then, fair enough. So going back to the police station then. Okay. Have I been there since episode 3 of chapter 1? It would be cool if you could actually drive around, but I know I'd freaking, I'd just mess up completely. As this is a story-driven based game, like anything you do I mean, can actually affect the story. The Probably fan, wouldn't be great to freaking put me in control, especially on mouse and keyboard. And you you've seen by so me playing that drag that I'm horrible. I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Yeah, we don't really like Eddie, do we? We don't like Eddie, we don't like Sam, we don't really like yeah. Allison. Just Who do we freaking I'm like? Who was that? Why are we parking here? Oh, is this his house maybe? Not the police station? I'll just go stretch my legs then. No. Just give me a sec. I don't like where this is going. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, that's actually the opposite uh, of what I thought it was going to be. When? They're just in the I thought it was going to turn out that Allison was a freaking spy. By day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Okay, uh, holding W, yeah, there we go. Very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate mm, well, that. I mean, we did. We got a lot going Technically. On we broke the boards down, which might okay. put the value down a tiny bit. Uh, cash over, let's do it. It's not the right time. It's not the right time, I think. It's, 
I was leaning more towards let's do it. There we go. Strength of bond as well. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Tyler probably wouldn't be able to or wouldn't like me doing that. Oh, I hate that though. I hate doing that. Like, obviously, I don't think she's angry at us to the point that she's going to pull a freaking double barrel shotgun on us. But you always have to do that. Like, you make Tyler happy, but then someone else is angry at you now. It's really annoying. And the game does it very well, which is even more annoying. All right, what have we got here? That trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. So you got Black Creek Trail, everyday shuttles to Trailhead from Dallas Crossing. Okay. Whose votes are you looking to win? Tom Vecchi for mayor. The bears? Let's get all the freaking bears on our side, shall we? I mean, that's not a bad idea to get the bears on your side. You don't want them to be freaking killing you now, do you? Uh, bear encounters, perfect. To frequent during salmon run, May to October. Okay, do not feed the bears. No freaking crap. Never hitchhike alone, it said. No freaking crap right there. Be alert for bears. Are we going to see bears? Are we going to get attacked by a bear? Who freaking knows? Kind of reminds me of the list to area, especially now that we're going to go and sit on a freaking bench. That is cool. I like you, mate. They Hello, buddy. Really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Hell yes. Kind that was perfect time as well. Go. Dorian Key. Kind of sounds like Looks door like in key. Nice and that's the opposite. So it should be key re and door. Hello, buddy. I'm going to stop saying some crap jokes so, now. Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had I think Tyler just hates everyone, to be honest. He could only come by day after tomorrow. He seemed like a nice guy at the beginning. Help. Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And that's the freaking issue. Lose our minds Every time you make a decision, it's either that that's good and then Sounds something else bad happens, but then you pick the other option, something else bad would happen, so and it's good at the same time. We were talking. Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. We freaking did it then in the last episode. Doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, okay, I'd that's rather great. not lay waste to my entire life This is going brilliantly. Them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Is that a house down there? Potentially, it's quite next to the... Oh no, the house is on the right. Or am I... Here we go. You're going to soak all day. I like the view. Eddie warned me about this. Um, this one. Kind of friendly banter once again. All day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. Are we just doing all of the options, potentially? We, are, we don't really do this that much, do we? Like the speaking to each other in the mind? Are you still want to live in the wild? Come on, help me out. This one. Come on, Tyler. Help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure that was a good freaking point. Even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. I guess that's the end of that, then. Okay. We got anything to look at? No. Oh, is that the the trailer park area? And then that's our house over there potentially. Hey. Or one of them over there. Oh. You feeling this? Is there only one here? I don't know who it is straight away. Young Tyler. You're there we star. go. Okay. Now you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay. And don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. I do like the fact that we can yes, both see did. this now. Like we don't, we can just skip over the fact of just like telling people or telling Tyler or Tyler telling Allison, yeah, I can do this thing. We both can. So there's no, there's no point to actually explain anything. Always accusing which is amazing. Get rid of the annoying part. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. We look like little freaks, no one else could play with us. Uh I guess just one, yeah. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? 
You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. I'm the same, so, really. I got like three, maybe four I friends. Our chance to be billionaires. And that's good. Nah, that's fine. All that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I wonder what that sound I'm is. I'm all for enjoying the winds as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Oh, hell yes. I guess that's another strength and bond. Yeah, the sound's coming from over here, right? The old cannery's still in business. Well, that's probably where the sound's coming from. For now. I thought that was a slope down. Oh, here we go. The bridge? Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened. That's a bit Sam dangerous, Jesus Christ. Boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island. But way colder. That'll be kind of cool. Well, I guess we're... Going back now, I don't really... Did we just stop off here because we had the phone call? Because we're going to the police station, right? Or at least going back to Eddie. To ask him about why it was keeping things from Marianne. I think... Did we... I think we literally just stopped here from the for the phone call. The hell was... Okay. That was weird. That was a weird walking animation right there. I know for a matter of fact there's going to be a... Oh, we actually are going over here. Hey, look what I found. I wanted to go over here as well to have a look around. What did you find, mate? On the tree? OA. Aha! I knew it was Ollie and Amazon. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed oh, yeah, that was a freaking memory up there. Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. You're going to change it to a T? If I had to change an O to a T, though. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. We're not going to see, I guess. There we go, okay, that was... I expected, for some reason, I expected the game to just delete the, the O and just put a T over it. But no, now it's Otter. That's great. You're an achievement, Arbor Glyph. Literally have no idea what that could even freaking be. So, what's the plan? This is back to the police station. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh huh. What's the most important, anyway? Uh, yeah, I understand, Mister. Well, there's actually people here this time. I guess because we're not coming here freaking yes, 6 p.m. this time. Have a good day, Mister. Bell. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. Am I? What are you doing here? Jesus, I keep forgetting. Jesus Christ. I'm guessing from the idea well, I keep forgetting. I just keep not Tyler, knowing that we're actually Tyler, playing. Denise. Denise. Fair, I just want to listen, to be honest. I don't really want to walk around when there's people talking. Will Never mind. Oh, here we go. Could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be Eddie, hello, buddy. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. That's annoying. There's one yeah, badge missing up there going on, on the wall. He's been a little off all day. Good luck. Probably because of the freaking last time we were here. Was yesterday, wasn't it? You don't have to whisper. Ooh. You're in my head. <sighs> right. Apparently yeah. Eddie's not in a great Is that why they haven't been using it? Because they've just forgotten about it? Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes. You got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. 
Yeah, no worries. You're not a bother. Awesome. And let's see what work you get up to then. Dr. Torres. Yeah, about as much as I expected right there. About as much as I expected from a game. I'll need her information. I probably shouldn't interrupt him, right, because he's talking. Well, what else have we got around here? Glad to know that everyone showed up to work today. Glad to know that... Yeah, hello, Invisible 1 and Invisible 2. So glad that you bothered to freaking show up to police station today. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. I feel like, do I interrupt or do I wait? I don't know if that's just going to go on forever. Let me just check over here first. Okay, I can't go through there. Cool. Here we go. Morning, now we can talk to him. Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a okay. I guess your conversation with the other can woman's you finished. Me for a second, Doctor Torres. <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about her mother. Look, and this is the perfect time the to do it. Well, maybe we can come back later then. Excuse me. Come on, guys. I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. Okay, well that kind of explains why I don't have time to you've got right three now. people in there. We're just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. X to doubt, Sorry, ladies guys. and gentlemen. If you're on an Xbox, if you're watching this on an Xbox controller, or not on an Xbox, if you're watching this on Xbox using a controller, oh, press X on the controller now. So what now? Or square, if you're on PlayStation, or X on the keyboard, I guess you can do. If we get the two of ourselves, we can't do much. Um, I kind of don't want to do that one, because that might lead to... Okay, never mind. must be upstairs. Let's just go get it. Wait. That's what I didn't want to do. Who are you and what have you done with my sister? Your sister's gotten really tired of being treated like a child. Come on. But you don't do that in a police office area. States you called yesterday at 6.13 I guess we are, yeah. That's what I was literally about to say. I don't want to do that one because it's going to lead to us breaking in. And that's not good. What are we saying, mate? Tyler Rohn. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, welcome home. It's been a while, won't be around long. It's been a while. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Neon lights and smelly food? Okay, yeah, so that's the only thing we can ask. That's a bit weird. Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. So, is there anything I can help you with? Maybe it might be worth. I don't see that many negative things. Yeah, let's let's ask you this. Might actually. Instead of just is there going any up way there. we can see the file for our mother's case? Ah, um, well, you're legally allowed to look at anything that concerns you, so you could always file a request for access. So, we can see it. Of course. I can start the paperwork if you want. It's okay. We'll figure it out with Brown. Thanks. So, Tyler, Chief said you were a mentor We're, we're, we're just going to be going up there, aren't we? You think of joining the force? Greg's. he just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me? That's probably going to be a negative thing, not my thing. Because then we'll probably go yeah. into people as in transgender sure people. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Huh. And why not? We're shorthanded right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. Could you go through the full details of your morning? So, apparently they keep all the case files right here. Jesus! You scared me! Sorry. Anyway, if Brown's not gonna be straight up with us, we should just read it for ourselves. He yeah. freaking... Oh, Brown, is that guy? Yeah. I was gonna say, this guy, he just said that he was gonna file the paperwork. So, nah, let, that's fine. Let, we're just gonna freaking go and get it ourselves. Because that's normal. I mean, what's gonna happen if I try and go up here? Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm not gonna be able to get up there, am, am I? We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency. Lake water. You know. Well, can I just go up there then? Juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room. Ooh. Yeah, First door on your right. 
Yeah, break room of rare. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's yeah, so we go to the break room, right? Another way up. Break room of rare. Look around. Yeah. Okay. Act normal. Yes, I do know where I'm freaking no going, mate. The first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Can I just go in there anyway? Well, I guess not then. Maybe talking to you might be, because obviously she probably hey, knows more than say, anyone else. Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. I love working with those kids. It was tough work. I should go. Yeah, this one. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts... Man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. What's the JCE? That's awesome. Do your colleagues know see you around? Oh, that's awesome. Let's just say that. Wait, really? That's all? Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from. And will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. What's up? Sorry about your dog. I don't remember that. Do you like being a cop about the JCE? Okay, I, I guess all of these maybe? Sorry about your dog? Allison told me about your dog. I'm sorry. Thanks, yeah. He was a good boy. <laughs> the best. Yeah, this is one that we just asked all of them. Okay, do you like being a cop? So, how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh, yeah. But I know I do a lot of good here. And the team's great. Chief Brown, he gets it. Really? Mm-hmm. We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to get him coffee. Chief canned his ass that day. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Chief Brown. What about you? Any thoughts on the future? Dreaming of Denali, hard to plan anything. Uh, we'll just say hard to plan anything right now, it's as we're trying to sort out the complaints. house. Things have been way too up in the air. Well, this is something I have told your sister before, and that I'll tell you now. It's okay to take your time to figure things out. Figure yourself out. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, and then about the JCE is How next. How did you find out about the JCE? Same way anyone finds anything. The internet. It took a few months Fair before enough. I actually went to a meeting, though. You're watching this video on the internet I'll right now. Chickened out. I can relate. How come? Um, yeah, I can relate. I can totally relate. Well, trust me when I say it was the right move. It is a wonderful, supportive community. Can't recommend it enough. Right, and that's everything. See you soon. We'll see you around, see you around wherever. Then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? Where is Isabella now? At school. So that didn't actually help that much. That was just bonus stuff. Information from you. I think it'd be helpful. Can I? Talk to Isabella. Yes. Okay, I can't talk to you. I can talk to this guy again. Is that hey, going to be anything? You said her file was around here somewhere. Yep. We keep them all upstairs. We need to go upstairs. Um. Well, let me just see what happens if I try and go upstairs now. I know there's a key in there for someone's locker. What happens now? We need to find another way up. I don't know where that would be though. Where would that? Unless it's like the front area. I don't think there's anything here. A lift anywhere? Oh, restroom? No. Oh wait, outside maybe. Outside potentially. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I can. I gotta get going. I need to smoke. Actually, no. Um. Oh. This one. Go get going would be like. Oh, we come back here and then obviously we weren't going. So I'm gonna have actually, to go with. Okay. No, Never staying. mind. Well, let's do that again, shall we? Oh. Oh no, that's that's not good. Okay. Hopefully that's not gonna be negative. Because we said that we're staying here and then we've just freaking left. I really hope that's not negative now. I'm going to go to the freaking bin. Because I'm in this. Be safe, not sorry. Happy 4th of July. Awesome. We can look at the McDonald's bin as well. 
Those garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. What was that? Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. And I've got the wildlife. Oh, listen, is just staying in there. Look. Stay out of trouble. Uh, is that supposed to be Greg's? Oh, yeah. Well, no one knows for sure, but the resemblance is uncanny. Let's shoot to Daria out of his personnel. What's that red warehouse for? Shooting range? Uh. Ooh. Okay. Well, something's freaking banging at the door. This door? No. I can go up here. I mean, this is definitely going to be the area, right? 100% this is going to be the area. I mean, we're going upstairs, there. and then we go in here. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. Yeah, One definitely. Of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait. Fair enough. Really? Not a better idea. Uh, I'm a bad actor. Not really. I say this one. Not really. And as we said, we're not leaving, so it would be good to just come back and make sure that's not going to be negative. Well, there we go. If we said we needed a cigarette, we would have just had one and come back, so that probably would have been the best one to do. If we're going with how it would work in uh, real life. Um, it still says chat with you. Turn the light off, maybe? But I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Okay. Um. Never mind. Especially as that's like the one thing that I've actually seen so far. At least I want to know my other options before I actually go ahead and do everything. Or something. Oh, what else have we got? We got looks, stuff like that. Um. Window, How potentially? Someone's climbing the fence. Really? I could pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, and then when they find they're not. What are we going to do? So that's two options so far. Trying to see that obviously isn't going to be an option. That's just looking at stuff that we've already looked at. No, Addison's blocking that, so that's not going to be anything. Can't do anything there. Anything like send someone's phone off potentially? <coughs> While holding... Oh, we'll be holding an emergency evacuation exercise throughout the week. Every morning at 8.30. Wait for the station immediately, leaving all personal belongings behind. Close, but do not lock all doors behind you. Evaluate the building in a quick and orderly manner through the nearest exit. That might be the best one to do, but that is very dangerous. For something as simple as just going to get someone's... Someone's, uh... What is it? We're getting the files, is it called? I think. Anything in here that we can do? Because we can just walk in here, I guess. And just watch her doing freaking police stuff. That's great. That pile of paperwork. What about it? I could tip it over. It's kind of messy, but I mean, sure. But we're not. I mean, we're gonna have to clean it up, and we could take our time as well cleaning it up while Allison goes round the back, potentially. I just hope that like not everyone potentially will actually turn over to see it. The lights. I don't think it would do anything. Obviously, the window is probably the best option. In coordination by where they're looking at, the lights, obviously, they turn all the way around. But that's going to be the quickest. That, they're going to be looking over there. This, they're going to be looking over here. And that might be the best option for where everyone's placed. So, I think I'm going to go with this one. Probably a bad option, but actually, not, not really a bad option. I think, yeah, let's do it. Let's just freaking go. Let's not even worry about anything. I think this is going to be a good option. Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just... Leave that there. Okay, there we go. Very easy. I thought he was going to, like, trip over the whole thing. But, okay, just putting two books on the floor, fair enough. All right. I'm and we haven't turned the lights off to cause anyone freaking trouble. And, and we haven't pretended that someone's freaking breaking in. Right there. All right, cool. So could we have done that straight away, as Alison's just told us about it? We're going to be asking. So that's the thing again, like... We said we were staying here. Winter air. And now we're just leaving again. By the door. Come on. Right, why can't I run anymore? I can't run. Okay. Oh. Oh, perfect, okay. Look. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay, good. So I know for a fact that that would have been like she just randomly turned around at an occasion. Hell yes. Now let's be as loud as possible up here. Hey bros, I'm up here. How are you freaking doing, mate? Can you see me? I'm up here. You see? See me, mate? Hello? Hello, buddy? I'm up here, mate. How did they not hear Alison coming upstairs? Jesus Christ. And of course, as freaking cliche as it gets, his freaking door's wide open. Alright then, but I wanted to go over there because that's not the one place I haven't been to yet. I guess I haven't been to the armory and many places actually, but that's the one place that doesn't have a door there, like the rest of the corridor area that I haven't been to. I know this is going to be negative. I know this is going to be. Thirty-eight. Oh, wow. I'm just going to try and get quickly through this. Officer to ever join the DCPD. What have we got here? This is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Yeah, let, let's just read this way and get out. Child services on the case. Um. None of our business. Okay, Edward Brown. All right, cool. Let's just try and get through this quickly. So I feel like it might be on a timer. I'm not too sure. Actually, let's just let's let's just read this. Oh, I'll leave this even. I did, but they were let's get out of that. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I what was have we got? Here for the summer with you. No one but Justin Beaver for I'm not trying to rush through this because for the sake of the video. I'm oh, trying to rush God. through this because genuinely, says you got it might be oh. the he comes up soon, and that might be bad. Or maybe it's going to show us a cutscene of him coming up, and then we're going to have to try and leave. By doing something, like by climbing out the window, potentially. You what have we got over here? Anything? No. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? And we need He's to be a quick. Genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Hmm. Here. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. Choose the, the work history. Donald. That's not the person. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always... Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? Regarding the request this morning about the know, Ronan case... But there's a reference number. It hasn't been digitized six, six, yet, six, so you can five, find the three. paper origins... Originals... In the archives for the references about the case, transcripts of phone calls have been taken out. You can find the digitized calls through the appendix. Let me know if you need anything else. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. So good morning, Chief. Tessa and I would love to have you over for dinner on Thursday night. And I know you cannot say no to her roasted salmon. I didn't catch it myself, but it's this morning's catch. Looking forward to seeing you. And that's Thomas. Good morning, everyone. Please remember your presence is required Wednesday, November 11th at 1 o'clock. I need us all there, so speak now if you can't attend and I'll reschedule. As I said this morning, we'll be taking about implicit bias. There's not punishment and has nothing to do with the dismissal of Randy Spears. We can benefit, we all can benefit from this discussion no matter who we are. I've attached some reading materials we'll be discussing and I'm available if there are any questions. And that's Eddie. We'd like to remind you of your upcoming council meeting. Okay, isn't that today? No, that was the that was the thing, the alarm call, right? Uh, people, we're adults here. Whoever keeps leaving dirty dishes in the sink, personally stuff said corporate into the washer so they can see how it works. Fair enough, mate. All right, One of cool. his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Archives. I know that there's an archives room, but I think it's downstairs, right? I think it's just your office and then the armory here. Oh, over here, actually? Yeah, because I don't remember... I know that there's going to be an archives room, but I don't think I've seen it yet. Private and restrooms. Okay, well, it's going to be in there, definitely. What have we got here? This isn't going to set off an alarm, though, is it? What the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Great. I'm so glad I'm gonna have to freaking listen to that all the time. Okay, already failed. Brilliant. Using the wrong numbers. Ooh. Any idea? 
Any idea? Obviously, I'm gonna have to um, try on an error. should be more worn than others. Okay. Oh, okay. So. I don't think that's the right. Well, it's not that. It's dumb first. Yes. Da. No. You're pressing the wrong numbers. So six. No. You're pressing the wrong number. Six zero four one. Dumb. No, for God's sake, You're I was meant to freaking press numbers. zero. Dumb. Da. D. Do. There we go. Bit silly that they've got freaking different sounds for each of the buttons. Not really that secure, is it? Right, well, this definitely is a room that we're going to get caught in. 100%. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. So cliche that I just leave I the freaking notes this. out. They're gonna have to resort. Surely everything should be locked away in cabinets. Right. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning. Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Brilliant. Perfect. So glad it's that way. Scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. Oh, you're gonna say you were gonna go to that room that you used to play in? Awesome. Look it up, Look it up she says. Okay. R6, what was it again? R66, yeah, that was it, wasn't it? R6, I know R6 something. Uh, okay. Let's try this one. Nope. Never mind. Uh, R6. We need to look for... R7. R5, I don't know what this one says. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Uh, R, well, R1. I'll be easy with you here about that file number. Yeah, what was the file number again? What was that reference number again? 05R68653. Okay. We've only seen one R or R6 even. Yeah, this one. That's it. Oh, R6605. That's annoying. Okay. So I haven't seen it yet. 05R63, 05R68, 5R61. Probably going to be in that freaking gap now in my luck. There's actually not just going to be here. I mean, that's probably going to be how it's worked, right? They've just, they've just gotten rid of it. So then it stops us from um, accessing it. Oh, this one, actually? Oh. No, it's R62. No, that's not it. Never mind. Let's look at this, actually. What does this say? Uh, guidelines. Uh, test your materials with no images. Minimum 150, ideal 400. Grayscale 8, JPEG 2000 or TIFF. Okay. Any mention of R6, wherever it freaking was, that 05R68, I think it was? I don't see it here, though. Wait, is this one here? R68? Here we go. I'm a freaking idiot. Jesus Christ, I was really worried then. I was like, where the hell is it? I've looked at literally all of them. Jesus Christ, I thought it was going to be hidden. Oh my god, that's... That's a bit freaking embarrassing, my god. Looks like, uh, Sorry, editing boss fat one in advance. Oh no, I didn't mean to turn it, I meant to well, freaking read it. So far, I'm not seeing anything I'll turn it back. Already. There we go. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. I want to read you these ones. Be able to look those up on the computer. Yeah. The file hasn't been digitized yet. They may already have it in the appendix. I think it will be, yeah, it's 2005, so it shouldn't be. 2235, notified by my partner, Officer Christian Holt, of accident at 12 Cannery Road, Dallas Crossing, AK-77477. White female, identified as Mary Ann Ronan, date of birth, 1964, falling over deck into lake, audio recorded tape, and brown. 2258, Holt and I arrive at the scene. Briefed by patrol officer J. Chan of incident. Brown 2307, located witness, minor's name redacted. Ronan and miner's name redacted Ronan, so that is uh, obviously Allison and uh, Tyler. A day of birth, 94, children of Mary and Ronan. Couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care of patrol officer J. Chan Brown. Okay. 2341, coroner investigator T. Dickens arrived at scene. 
a uh, rolled prints of victim, crime lab tech Otali, a uh, scene, completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed rustler, I believe, 3121 shotgun, but it's recovered from location Barn Brown. Okay, we got the next page. What have we got here? 0104. Interviewed children at station stated that after Miner's name redacted, Ronan's hair was cut short by sister Miner's name redacted Ronan. Marianne Ronan threatened Ronan with a gun when Ronan fled from her. She pursued children to the dock, or child to the docks. Ronan stabbed M.A. Ronan, who was still threatening the child before falling over into the water. Winners say they called 911 shortly after. Brown 0630. Canvas crime scene did not recover a pair of scissors claimed by... Ronan Brown presented this case to DAB Cruz, charged Ronan with homicide. Okay, cool. So basically, just know the story of what happened then. Yeah, and as Tyler said, it's not really anything there that we didn't know before. And yes, of course, I was actually about to freaking leave right there. Let's put it back exactly where it was, shall we? Thank you very much. Very organized thing right there. Oh, we're looking at it here. I was about to say, because we don't want to go back into that office. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Do the date first. Oh, here we go. Autopsy report and crime report. Last updated, a 24 hour homicide report. Okay. Let's reset the tags and just look for Mary. Oh, I have to do two tags. Okay. Um. Okay. References 05R62766. R62. R63. R61. Okay, so R62 is someone else or somewhere else. Um, R09, R43. I think R62 was one of these, right? Or maybe 62 is actually going to be the one that's not ran out properly so it's gonna be this one nope. no wow. never mind it's r1a r52 one of them are numbers again i seem like i've just looked at oh with this one actually r62 hell yes already open though that's not that great i have her autopsy report okay she got what is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non-fatal. What? We actually didn't kill her. Bloody froth. Seen her mouth and nose. Jesus. So we actually didn't, or Alison didn't actually kill Marianne then. Obviously did most of the damage because she just wasn't able to get out of the water. And the water looked quite red, to be honest, after she freaking died. Surprising that. Uh, Marianne Ronan. Um, maybe Eddie. That's exactly what we want, right? But maybe it might be worth to just look at all of these just separately. Maybe just Eddie by himself, actually. Oh, come on. That would have been cool. Bingo. Yeah, this one. Gotcha. 24 hour. Okay, Vecchi Death Report plus Child Neglect Report. Oh, this one? Okay, I thought it was going to be that one with the tick. Okay. Yes, we got it. I need to check out. Can I Here. go back and do this one, though? There we go. Personal information and rap sheet. What were we doing? What one now? I think we just said enough one. I can't remember. Let me just do this and then hopefully it would say. There might be other references on the computer. Oh. Oh, we're still doing it. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe Eddie Brown and the date. Uh, this one, personal information and rap sheet. R62766. We've already seen that one. Dallas um, Crossing Police Department. Ooh. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, I, I can hear you. It it's my mom. This is going to be quite important. She, this is the phone call. She fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? They know exactly yeah. where you are. It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Tw 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! They freaking have to, mate. They've literally no choice. I mean, they've got to now go to freaking get to you. A 24-hour homicide. 
Okay. Done these ones. Uh, been there. Done that. This is this one? Got something. Oh, this one. 2005, 2015, was this? I didn't realize they actually I said that before. Why did I get a... What? I looked at that one already. Okay, that's weird. That's 210201. 2014, all of them are not. 2005 is exactly the, the year as well. Nope. Maybe this one because it's 05. Never mind. We need 05. Maybe it is on this one then. What? There. Oh, there. Okay, great. Okay, here's one of the complaints. Shit, it's from Tessa. She said Marianne was shoplifting and that she had us shoplifting too. I remember going in to get things for her, but she said she'd already paid for them. Tessa also accused her of child neglect. What the hell? Oh yeah, when, yeah, when, um, no. when Tessa gave Marianne the food. Uh, Marianne Ronan entered... Veni Veti Vecchi? The hell? Okay, I guess that's the name of the shop, maybe? Owned by Thomas and Vessa Vecchi. Uh, Miss Vecchi stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she was being behind the cash register and did not have a direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Vecchi stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vecchi if she had only any organic mosquito incense in stock. A bit freaking random. I informed Ronan that she did not. We stated the believed this demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything else. Vecchi stated that after possibly five minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Vecchi states that she had been recently restocked, or that she had recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. She stated that she has suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. Uh, she said that she also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences, Jesus. Vicky believed it is possible some form of abuse may be occurring in the home. Okay, that was great. Really glad we freaking read that. Jesus Christ. Alright then. Shit. Shit, shit, Back on shit. Here. Eddie's coming up the stairs. Yep, what I freaking knew this was gonna happen. Saw him, I'm coming out. Oh Maybe this one. Maybe. No, you're not. He'll see you. So him in the bathroom, get him into the office. So I went for a smoke. Yes, because we Oh no, we didn't, did we? Get him into his office. Tell him you need to talk that's to annoying. Us. If I said I was going to go out for a smoke, I could have just done that one. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, he's probably not going to come in here anyway. Um, we need Tessa. And maybe... Let's just do all of these. I've already seen this one. Okay. Uh, been there. Done that. That's a new one. Never mind. Okay. Oh no, what am I doing? Tessa and Mary. This one. I've already seen this one. Okay. Uh, Mary Ann and Tessa... ...and something else. No. There's actually nothing here. Uh, been there. Done that. Incident and Eddie. Okay. Are we still- are we still even doing this? Search the archive for information. We are. Gotta be very careful now, because obviously Eddie's up here. Jesus. Unbelievable. Allie. Tessa called fucking social services on us. And Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? That's not good. He's coming in here. A hundred percent he's coming in here. A hundred percent we're gonna get freaking shot. A hundred freaking percent. Oh no. This isn't good. Am I still doing this? Yes. Uh, what is it now? Child services? Uh, Tessa. This one. No. Never mind. Here. This one. 
Been there. This I want to see. Ready, Brown. Hello, oh, here we go. Brown. This is Simone Pru from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Pru. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Pru, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Pru. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Really? Okay. I was about to freaking leave then. Okay. So, where's the new one that we got? The new one is Child Services, right? Um... Okay, so we've done... Oh, so it ticks ones that we've done. Okay. So, Mary Ann for Child Services. And then... Someone else? So it's 05R68, I believe, now is the next one. So is this one here? I've already done that one. The file number. 05R68MISC. Okay, it's R68 MISC. So there's another R68 somewhere. Um, so it's not you. Oh yeah, this one, MISC. Here we go, perfect. Here we go. This is a new one. Alright, what have we got in here? We're just doing all of these then. It's huh. gonna take a freaking long time. Why is that here? The hospital? Patient name Tessa. Okay. She was in hospital. Pressure in the head, headache. Loss of consciousness. What did freaking Marianne do to Tessa? Jeez, we are doing a freaking deep dive right now. My god. I'm very surprised I'm still doing this. I'm guessing it's gonna be thing once again that like as soon as we do this then that's when Eddie's gonna come in. Um where's the new one now then? Okay. I need to check out two thousand five two one zero one nine five. So two thousand five two one zero is one that we don't have yet. We're still good with this one. There. We're still good with um Eddie. I didn't realise that it's just all of them that we're going to. It's not specific ones. Okay. So I just have to go on ones that I haven't done, then go out and then Tyler says this, because I got really confused right there. Uh, approximately 15.25 or 3.25, Marianne Ronan arrived at Johanna Miller's home to cut her hair. The two women had settled on a date on date and time earlier that week. The appointment was arranged for 3 o'clock, and Miller states that this is the only thing they had agreed on that day, and had not agreed on any sort of payment. According to Miller's statement, Ronan arrived at Miller's home approximately 25 minutes late and looked really tired and anxious, like she was maybe on something. Shortly after arrival, Ronan began to cut Miller's hair in her kitchen. After the haircut, Ronan asked to be paid $20 in cash for her work. Miller then stated that she only had a 10 and a $5 bill and asked Ronan if it was sufficient payment. Miller stated that Ronan then exploded into a fit of rage and assaulted me with insults. Jesus Christ. Miller declined to specify the insults as they were too monstrous for decent conversation. When Miller requested that Ronan remove herself from Miller's home, the situation escalated and Ronan made physical threats to Miller, telling her that if she did not pay for her, her for her work, she would take her payment from Miller by taking something from her. Miller reported no items missing. Miller stated that then threw Ronan out of her home. Jesus Christ. Okay. I was a bit freaking mad. Just because she was like five dollars out, if that was it, like ten and yeah, she was five dollars out. Jesus Christ, mate! Probably money. find that on the freaking floor. Shit! I'm sorry. Tyler. Oh no! I stop him. He's coming your way. That's bad. I don't think you could yeah. change that though. Uncle, I. We didn't mean I'm to. I'm not going to repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. H hey, <laughs> get off me! Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. Are you kidding me? Let's talk in private. Let's talk in private. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. 
We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. I don't think we moved anything in his office. I mean, I, I guess at this point, he doesn't really care if I went anywhere else anyway. The winter before your mother's death was... hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and... plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. I don't know, I'm... I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So Tessa came to you. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <sighs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. Tessa stabbed her in the back, so you called child services. Well, I guess this one. That snake, pretending to care, to be her friend, just to stab her in the back when she was down? Tessa helped out your family for years. I'm convinced her concern was real. Of course you would. We saw those townie complaints against Mary Ann, Tyler. It wasn't just Tessa's word. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Both of them are not that great, but just like that is better than BS. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. And then Tyler I walks in and freaking ruins it. You two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. We could get there with time. No, it's not that easy. Yeah, let's get there with time. I'm open to getting there. Come on then, Eddie. But and obviously that strengthens the bond as well. We're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Eddie was the one that gave them that, right? Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. All right, lovely. Really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? 
Let me just see before oh, yeah. I end if there's anything yeah, else I can do in here. It gets. Because that, as it's now saved, is actually a good point to end this episode. I do believe we've still got a decent amount left, so next episode might be a bit longer, but I do believe that's right for this episode. I probably should have made the first episode a bit longer. The only thing oh. we can do is talk. I just want to see if there's any, anything else here. I want to apologise. I'll see you around. Yeah, I want to apologise before we go. I uh, feel like I owe you an apology. Oh yeah, what for? Breaking and entering? Invasion of privacy? Sorry. It was messed up. Huh, don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Just don't ever pull that shit again. Oh, well, then fair enough. I want to apologise to you around. Let's apologise again, shall well, we? See you around then? You know where to find me. I mean, we got an achievement for freaking going back and doing that cowbell thing, whatever it's called, like the moo, turn it around and it moves. So we'll probably get an achievement for apologising about 100 billion times in a row. But that, ladies and gentlemen, as we have me, Eddie, and Alison all in the same shot, there we go, perfect. That, ladies and gentlemen, is going to end the halfway point of the entire game of Tell Me Why, also known as episode number two of Tell Me Why chapter two, which is, of course, called Family Secrets. We definitely learned a lot of family secrets in this episode, and I guess we'll learn more family secrets in episode number three, and then after that, we go into the last chapter of Tell Me Why. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, that ends episode number two of chapter two. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if you want to have yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please, if you like, we did subscribe for our brand new, I was the boy boss fat one thanks for watching and of course as always peace